Hi everyone, here's Cleo, and today's video is gonna be about grooming a Saper Doodle. So I prepped her already, I brushed her out, and I'm getting the mats out. Her mom and dad want her pretty long, but today she is gonna get a haircut with length off her body, long legs, lightly trim around the feet, and they like a long head, long ears, and long eyelashes. So we're gonna start now. Here we go. Okay, so before the bath, we're gonna try to take off some hair because the more hair we take off before the bath, the less drying that we have to do. And Cleo doesn't like the dryer. She tries to bite it and I don't know if it's scaring her or if she's just trying to play, but she's pretty difficult to dry and this kind of hair has to be dried and fluffed. So I'm probably gonna blow her out and then go over with the little hand dryer. So first we're gonna do an e-comb right here and just take some off her back. I normally just scissor it or thin it, but this time they want it to be a little bit shorter. I normally do the four steel on her neck, but they want that shorter too. So I'm probably gonna try the seven blade, I guess. And same with her tummy. All right, so let's see. Let's see how much this takes off. She still has a lot of mats in here. It's... I'm gonna try to avoid them and just get what I can off. Sometimes when you pet a dog, you can't feel the mats until you try to get a comb and a brush through them or until you try to get one of these through them. I can't even really feel mats, but this texture of hair is so thick. Hopefully the bath and the conditioner will also help. I'm gonna just take some hair off with the scissors for now, hand scissor her body because this is just more hair that has to dry, so I'd rather get it off now. Usually I just hand scissor her, but they want it shorter this time. Our longest attachable is an E, so if anybody ever wants their hair cut longer than an E, it has to be hand scissored. And then I'm gonna do the other side. First, I'm gonna take off hair off her neck with a seven. <laughs> and I'm doing a seven on her tummy too, instead of a four steel. It's already pretty short, so I'm just going over it from the last time. She's here every three weeks. Good girl. All right, I'm just gonna finish brushing her out and then we're gonna get her in the tub. We'll maybe do a couple clips of her in the tub and being blow dried, which she doesn't like. So we're only gonna do it for a few minutes. And then we'll be back. You ready for your bath? Okay, let's go. Cleo loves her bath. She's ready to get in. What are you always trying to get down in the drain, huh? So we're gonna get her nice and lathered and use a lot of conditioner. And then we'll be back for Let's set up her blow drying. So let's see how she does. Oh, good girl!
doesn't like it at all. So now I'm gonna go over her with the little hand dryer. She tolerates that a lot better. And good thing we took some hair off before the bath so there's less to dry. All right, you ready? Good girl. it's going through a lot smoother now that she was washed and conditioned and dried it's still getting stuck a little bit but we'll get off as much as we can and then I'll shave out the additional mats we're gonna leave a little skirt here so you can't tell that her stomach is shaved. Kind of gives the illusion that it's longer than it is. All right, so I'm gonna do one leg on camera. And then the rest I probably won't do on camera because it would be a really long video if I did. Because then we have to do the tail and the face and the head after, so. Let's see. First, you want to make sure it's mat free. I think there's another mat right here. I'm going to shave that out. Some of these mats are really hard to find because it just feels like cotton balls. Here's a teeny mat, but you still have to get them all out or a comb won't go through. So today they said I can trim around the feet a little bit. So first I'm just gonna trim under like this. So she's not stepping on all this hair. And just trim the light, the pokey slightly, so it looks even. Oh, you good girl. Oh, I know. You want to get down. You'll be done in a little bit. Now I'm just going to thin it a little bit so it blends. All right, now I'm gonna do the other three legs and her tail, and then we'll come back for her head. We'll be right back. Okay, so Cleo's body is pretty much all done. Now I'm just working on her head. So I wanna to try to get all of these curls out. She doesn't like her head blow dried, so it mostly air dried. So it is gonna be a little bit wavy. All right, so I'm gonna start off by putting a bow in her hair because they don't want anything off the top. Can we get your pony in. Your hair is so thick, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to wrap this bow. Just once. There we go. That kind of like holds all the hair out of the way so that I can work on the rest of her face because I'm not trimming her ears at all. 
I cut underneath the ears already. Good girl. All right, let me do this ear, honey. Come on. So I'm gonna just try to blend it into the into the head. I know, she doesn't like her head done really. Come on. I'm just gonna thin her eye corners a little bit. They like her lashes long. Here's her lashes. Here, I'm gonna show you up close actually. Can we see your lashes? Look how long they are, look. Look at those long lashes. Look at that pretty lash. Let me see the other one. Let's see it. Let me see it. Those are so long. You're so pretty. Okay, I just had to show you the lashes real quick. You're such a good girl, baby girl. All right, ready? Let me thin your eye corners. Come on. Just the little corners. There's some mats in her beard. So I'm gonna just thin in there a little. Big mats in there. And thin that mat. Let me get some eye, the eye corners better. Look at you. Good girl. All right, they don't really want much off her face or head or ears. So we're going to put a bandana and take an after pick. You're such a good girl. Say thanks everybody for watching my video.